Well, I'm back out here again. Um, I think I've learned a little bit from my my mistakes from part one. Um, got me a little makeshift table. Hold on a second, I could. I have got to remember about airplane mode before I turn a camera on. I can't do it with these glass uh, gloves on. But anyhow, um, uh, for everybody who reached out to me uh, after my stabbing accident on the last video, um, I want to thank you. It means a lot to me. The, uh, the wound itself um, took four stitches to heal, uh, to, to stitch up, I'm sorry. It's, I hate that phone. Um, took four stitches to, to close up. The, uh, the doctor said that um, I was really lucky. Um, I missed both the femoral artery and uh, the nerve. So uh, I feel pretty fortunate about that. The, the, the knife blade itself, uh, I still don't know exactly how deep the wound was, but I, on a three inch blade I can pull, pull blood back to about an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter of it um, on, on the knife. So I know it was still a pretty deep wound, um, but it, it's healing up really, really nicely. Uh, I feel pretty fortunate there. I am really <laughs> just picking up where I left off uh, from that video. I am still working on the mortise joint. I brought out some of my some of my wood carving tools, uh, and uh, just a small chisel, trying to to work on get the mortise joint out and marry it up with the uh, the crossbar. It's really where I'm at at this point, so I'm just going to do a lot of this off camera, trying to get me a little fire going for some lunch because I'm hungry, and uh, we'll get back with you every so often as uh, I work on piecing these together. But actually pretty good so nothing special um, two cans of Hena sausages and another one of them twisted meals um, Mediterranean inspired grilled vegetable flavor couscous not sure if I can taste all the different grilled vegetables but Tomatoey. For all the different couscous, sorry, for all the different twisted meals that I've bought, I've sampled quite a few of them now. The couscous. My wife doesn't like, so I get to I get to eat those quite regularly on my own. I, I don't mind couscous; it's good stuff. It's just a little baby pasta.
Yeah, I think I think I at least got one one side done or close to it. Uh, let's see, see the tenon is going to fit right in there. It's going to butt up tight. Um, the same thing will happen on the other end, and then we'll take some string, wrap it around both stems, and then spin it tight, and it's going to pull. It's going to pull that saw blade tight and pivot on this crossbeam. Yeah, so this is pretty much how I picture it to look. Um, I still need to cut this probably right along that line right there, which is going to get, well, maybe come back a little bit shallower, but kind of like right in through there, cut it right there, and then make a, another tenon and mortise on this side so that can pull up secure. I'm going to put some like a little ring notch on both ends of these so uh, when I wrap string around it you know it's sitting in a groove and then um, just got to put some little uh, keeps down there inside the inside the saw blade this of course is too small but you'll get something to sit inside there like that so when it pulls up tight it rests against this piece of wood and holds the saw blade in place. It's, uh, it's coming along. Um, like I said, I just need to cut cut that right there and then start making another mortise and tenon joint. Listen real closely. There's a turkey down there gobbling away already. Okay, so what I did is I just took a piece of coal out of the fire over there and just traced traced around where I want to. This one's a little trickier because it's on a bend, and the hook on that side is a little sharper. But uh, um, same thing, I want to make a, a tendon here, and I kind of want to follow this shape instead of just being squared off. So here we go again. Oops. Yeah, this one's coming along. It's a little more misshapen, but uh, I got a little bit of a crack going on right there. So I might, uh, when it's all set and done, I might just lash some string around it just to keep it from splitting out. But I think it'll be okay. Um, Still got to shape it up some more, but that's kind of, oops, that's kind of what we got going. Now, I 
think, i got to watch my step, I don't want to step on the remainder of my saw, but I think I'm about finishing up on this tenon for now until we get the mortise cut in it and, uh, you know, start trying to fit it a little bit, but I'm going to leave it at that. It's, it is a little warped and twisted. I hope, hope not too terribly bad, but, uh, See how it goes. I'm probably not going to get much more done today than this. It's uh, just about three o'clock, so I'm going to have to start wrapping up things for myself. And wife will be home before too long. Need to get dinner started and stuff. So um, not been a bad day though. I've you know get to spend it out here, cook lunch on my little fire, hung out my camp, listen to some turkeys, collected some thoughts. Oh, that's a good day. I think I'm just gonna try to clean up some of my little cuts here and then that's gonna be about it for the for me today. Um, so Finally, I've got my saw finished. Um, I did the last little bit of it, uh, which is mostly repeat stuff from uh, stuff I already recorded. So I, I did most of that and finished it up this morning. Um, I guess all in all, I had maybe four good two hour days invested in it. So you know, probably a whole eight hour day project. And, if I would have had it all at one time, probably a little bit shorter. Um, this is it. Right here. I think I'm overall pretty happy with it because it's the first time I tried to make one, so I don't know, uh, didn't know what to really expect. Um, it seems to, to hold up pretty good. One thing I'm a, I think I'm going to have to tweak it a little bit more. Um, but if the saw blade catches a little bit, it still wants to, to, I don't think I have it tight enough. It still wants to, you know, maybe flex and bend a little bit if the saw blade catches in the wood. So it kind of, kind of does that going into it. Um, I might try to maybe shorten the crossbar maybe an inch or so and then redo a tenon side so I can pull that a little bit a little bit closer, maybe not a full inch, maybe half an inch. I don't have to, just, I don't know. But uh, a couple things I do want to do. Um, I want to trim this a little bit better so it sits a little bit tighter, and that maybe that little bit there will help too. Uh, but and I think I want to deepen the blade groove just a little bit. Uh, one thing, oversight on my part, um, but there's a slight, I don't know how I, how I can show it to you, but there's a slight twist in the beams, uh, so the blade sits under a little bit of pressure. Like I said, it was the first one I've ever tried to make, so I'm pretty happy with it. Everything went really well. Uh, the whole project was a, uh, a chance to self-teach myself something and to occupy some time. So uh, I'd say I did both of those, minus the uh, stabbing. I, uh, um, I enjoyed the whole project. I've got, um, 
some some mini paracord uh, that I bought at the craft store. Um, I got it tied on this side, end with an arbor knot, wrapped through, I think three three times, and then uh, tied off with uh, just two half inches here, and uh, a piece of walnut uh, as a tensioning paddle or whatever the actual thing is called. I call it a paddle. Uh, said I might want to try to trim this side up a little bit and maybe see if I can pull that a little bit closer together. But I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, just wanted to show it to you guys. Uh, show that it got finished. Show it in action. And uh, I think that's about it from this one so thank you for for watching hanging out with me and uh, we'll see you next time